Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mike. I wanted to create this initial introduction video before you jump into the nuts and bolts on how to create an X1 validator that uh, hopefully X1 mainnet is coming soon. Uh, real quick, the reason why you want to get involved with creating an X1 validator is because X1 mainnet is right around the corner Jack Lemon made it very clear that there's going to be a very lucrative incentive for the early participants of, uh, that are validators. So ultimately, what we want to do, there's already a lot of information out there for how to create an X1 validator. Um, if you want to go into the nuts and bolts, into the specific commands, what they mean, then this tutorial is probably not for you. Uh, this tutorial is really meant for somebody who wants the least barrier to entry to get an X1 validator up so that then they can go back later and say, hey, let me see what I did, but at least I'm involved. At least I got skin in the game. Uh, so the goal is to really simplify things where you just copy paste. Um, you'll see pretty soon in the follow following videos that um, you follow a a uh, document that I created, you're just going to be copy pasting. Um, so again, I really wanted this to be an X1 validators for dummies. Um, and at the end, we're hoping that we can get you on this list. Um, and spoiler alert, I'm creating this introduction after I had created all those tutorial videos. So we do have our validator up and running and hopefully we'll get you on this list here soon. All right, guys, without further ado, let's jump in. There are five videos in total, uh, not including this one, so I guess six total, but um, five videos that really take you step-by-step step getting your validator. Each one's, each video is between five to 10 minutes. I try to keep it very simple. If you had feedback, let me know. And uh, excited to see you guys with your X1 validator. Talk soon.